What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to put your Jaguar XJ rear-wheel drive vehicle into neutral. Let's say for example you can't turn the car on, your battery's dead, and the Jaguar drive selector does not come up. This is for the rear-wheel drive version. This is not for the all-wheel drive version. That one is in the engine bay. Open up your glove box. Look right here. Pull this trim up. It's a little tricky. I already did it, so you're going to have to use like a pry tool or pop this end up and then pop this end up, but it will come right out. Just pull this red tab up like this. Pull it out of the way. It's going to look like a keyhole. If it's like this with the raised area next to the raised area of the outer circle, then it is locked. If you try to pull it up, nothing will happen. What you got to do is you got to take a key like object or like a little like a coin or something like that. And what you want to do is put it in here and turn it like that so that it unlocks. You can see that I can pull it up now. It's no longer locked. So what you want to do is you want to have your foot on the brake, grab the tab after you unlocked it and pull it straight up. Pull it all the way till it's perpendicular to the ground. It'll be up like this. Then the car will be in neutral. So keep your foot on the brake, and then you can have the tow truck guy pull you onto his tow truck or be able to push the car. And when you want to get it out of neutral, put your foot back on the brake and push it so that it's now down like it is now and like it was before you pulled it up. So now the car is no longer in neutral. It's now in park. And then what you do, take your key, lock it back up so it's secure, and you can let your foot off the brake. And that's how you do it, guys. The all-wheel drive version is different. If yours is not in here, then it's in the engine bay. So we're at my friend's 2013 XJ, and this is the all-wheel drive version. So. In order to put the all-wheel drive version in neutral, you'd have to find this little device in the trunk. And what you do is you would connect it to the area over here. Usually it would be like a red loop. And you'd see this little plastic piece, this tan piece. You'd match it up to the other tan piece, connect it together. And then you would take this, turn this like I showed you before. And while it's connected to the other piece over there, you'd pull it apart like this. They're working on this car, so they actually had to put it back together still. So it's missing on this vehicle, but it would be right here on the all-wheel drive versions. And you connect this tan piece to the tan piece over there. Again, connect it, have someone push the brake, and pull this forward, and then it would be in neutral.